Hi, and welcome to our video series on the Sony DWX Digital Wireless System. In this video, we're going to dive into the world of remote control and how using Sony's accompanying wireless studio software, you can get ultimate control over your wireless network. The Sony DWX system has cross remote on board as standard. This digital link between the receivers and the transmitters over a 2.4 gigahertz network allows for the majority of the transmitter's functions to be controlled remotely. This is great for situations where the transmitter is buried in costume and you need to make remote adjustments. It's worth noting that the DWX system can function perfectly well without cross remote and you can manually adjust all of the settings on the transmitters. All telemetry from the transmitters is included in the data coming in via UHF. Therefore, you don't lose any monitoring of data on the receiver if you don't use cross remote. On the DWR RO3D, there are small onboard twigs that are perfect for small scale operations. However, most larger setups have the receivers much further away from the talent. And these larger scale operations, we have the RMU01 remote antenna. This networked PoE capable antenna provides a range of up to 10 meters and can control up to 88 transmitters at once. Up to 15 RMU01s can be meshed together on a network to provide complete coverage across multiple locations. From the stage to dressing room, for example. The RMU01 extends the coverage of cross remote for the system and wireless studio extends the possibilities of cross remote whilst also providing an in-depth RF monitoring and deployment solution. Wireless Studio can be operated on any Windows computer connected to the control network of the DWX system. By simply moving to online mode, we can see all the devices in the system on the network. It's worth noting that if you know the IP address of your units beforehand, you can build the system configuration off-site and simply deploy all the parameters at once when you arrive on site. To the left, we can see all the devices within the system and can simply double click and edit any of these settings if the transmit is within cross remote range. You can easily change parameters in real time. In the middle, we can see all our receiver channels, their transmitters data and audio levels. If you have Dante virtual sound card on board, you can even monitor the audio from the receiver remotely. To the bottom of the screen, we have some extra views of our battery chargers, spectrum analyzer, and RF chart grapher. At the very top, we have our group controls. This is one of the most powerful features within Wireless Studio. We can easily control all transmitters or certain groups of transmitters using pages and quickly do things like put them to sleep or wake them up, turn down their RF power or set their attenuation. This is even an option to set the audio attenuation relative to their current settings, thus maintaining the balance. Back to the bottom of the Wireless Studio and into the RF chart grapher, this provides a record of all the telemetry from the RF circuits and transmitters for up to 24 hours. This allows you to mark any issues and look back to see what the problem was. You can also save the RF file and send it off for analysis. The simple status viewer gives you a more basic readout of what the system is doing. This combined with the ability to lock out Wireless Studio is great if you want to give a simple read only option to front of house, for instance, whilst you have a second instance of Wireless Studio backstage giving you full control of the system. Similar to channel coordinate on the receiver, Wireless Studio allows you to quickly scan and deploy frequencies to the entire system. Wireless Studio provides an additional layer in that you can add in areas to avoid in the scan for things like IEMs, which are already on site. We can simply tell Wireless Studio which TV bands we want to scan, 33 to 35, for example, but avoid channel 34, as we know that's being used elsewhere. Add in a couple of IEM channels and the system will start scanning the environment. If you're doing a larger scan of multiple bands, Wireless Studio can split the scan across multiple receivers, shortening the scan time. Once scanned, you can simply pick your desired group of frequencies, assign them automatically to the receivers, and you're done. Fully scanned and deployed. To summarize, the Sony DWX digital system has cross remote in all its transmitters and receivers as standard. You need no additional hardware to perform spectrum scans and it can be scaled anywhere from two channels through to large channel count systems, all controlled by a wireless studio. So that's a quick overview of cross remote and wireless studio. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series.